Welcome back to So guess what? I've got a question for you, but first of all, let's just have a look over my shoulder and you'll see all the 18650s that have been sitting on the floor for the last five or six months. I've done absolutely nothing with these and I really need to get onto it because one, you guys want to see videos, but number two, I need to create some space in this room. So what we've got here, just a quick recap, ADP, 14S, so there's 14 groups of cells there and we've got another 14 groups of cells there, ADPs. All have been um, tested, ready to go, ready to um, solder up or ready to spot weld, all ready to, um, to put into production or put into our battery box. So, however, before I do that, and I really wanted to get this started this weekend, I thought I'd ask the question, do I leave them as ADP and just spot weld them up? Or do I, because we've got some time and we've got some cells over the last few months, do I change them over to ADP, oh sorry, to, to 100p? So do I change them from ADP to 100p? To do that, what I need is, if we come over here, we've got tons and tons and rows and rows of these cell holders. So these are all set for obviously more groups, and I'm sorry about the lighting, but it's quite bad, but so I've got a big stack of these cell holders. So all we would need to do to change them over to 100p is to just add a cell holder to the ends of all these. That would require 28 for the bottom and then 28 for the top. So that's obviously a few of these just to change all these over to 100p. Next problem we've got is well, to do that we actually need 560 cells that have been charged, tested, numbered, and um, kept in storage for a month before retesting the voltage to go into these. But luckily, I actually do have that. So over here, you'll see boxes and boxes of cells. So these are all ready to go, and all ready to go into my next packs. Um, however, I was thinking that it would be a smarter idea to change, to change these to 100p, delay doing a third set, and actually get these to 100p. 100p um, is enough that would slide into my battery box outside in a previous video without um, sticking out too much. So 100p for me is actually a really good fit. So the biggest question is, is that, do I do it to 100p or do I leave them as 80p and get them up and going and put them in there? I can always expand them later. It's just a bit more of a pain. In some ways, it's better to just do it now and change them to 100p. So, vote down below, have a think about it, vote down below, let me know whether you want me to, to do it as 100p or you think that I should just leave it as 80p, 80p is obviously what HB Powerwall did, 100p is what um, Average Joe did from the top of my head, so I'm thinking 100p because that will kind of max out the space in my battery box, which lengthwise, so that kind of would be the smartest. So have a think about it, vote down or write down below in, comment, in the comment section what you think I should do, 80p, 100p, and um, let's get this going, I want to start spot welding this weekend, and um, yeah, let's, let's, um, let's go from there. So thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next video.